सदाशिव सरंभाचार्य मध्यमाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा पेज फोर्टी टू वेर्स नाइन जीरो प्रत्यक्षे भवाघाति प्रत्यक्षे भवाति उपकाराय ते नम भाति नो वच beginning from 85th verse onwards up to 97th verse shreeshwara acharya refuting the second pura pakshi the one who is not accepting atma gnanam atma gnana अनभ्युपेत्य कर्मवादी दैट पूर्व पक्षी इज नोन एज पूर्व मीमांसक पूर्व मीमांसक मीन्स द वन हु टॉक्स अबाउट पूर्व भाग ऑफ वेद एलोन इज प्रमाण Mimamsa means analysis. From Manu Thatu it comes Mimamsa. Analysis. Analysis of what? Purva Mimamsa. Purva means Veda Purva Bhaga. Veda Purva Bhaga means Karma Kanda. That karma kanda part of Veda is called purva bhaga or purva mimamsa. The one who holds that purva bhaga alone is pramanam is called purva mimamsa. The the person, that philosopher, he who holds on to that purva bhaga of Veda. so that pura mimamsaka is the pura pakshi here he says vedanta vakyas are only figurative anuvada vakyams veda pura bhaga vakyam sar only pramana vakyam to be valid veda anta vakyams need not be valid If at all they are there, atma jnana, mahavakya, rupa vakya ni. If there are there, still you have to look at them as only anuvada vakya. That is negated by Sureshwara Acharya. He says this karma gives phalam after long time. कालांतर फलम इट गिव्स वेर एज आत्म ज्ञान गिव्स फलम नौ हियर इट से फोर द बेनिफिट ऑफ पूर्व भाग ऑफ वेद दट इज कर्म कांड एंड द बेनिफिट ऑफ ज्ञान कांड उत्तर भाग ऑफ वेद देर इज लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस ज्ञाना फले अवाप्ते अस्मिन् प्रत्यक्षेन डायरेक्टली वन कैन एक्सपीरियंस दैट आई एम मुक्ता 
ayam yavar janana marana rahita atma i am not a samsari this can be experienced by everyone after knowledge it is possible here itself pratyakshe and that bhavaghatini also that knowledge once it rises in the mind of the person a gnani it destroys the notion that i am having birth death karma punya papa that notion it destroys bhavaghatini i am ever mukta there are no two words even really speaking jeevan mukta videha mukta these words are also not relevant for me once i am a gnani jeevan mukta videha mukta words are only from the standpoint of ignorant people jeevan eva mukta aham after the fall of the body once prarabdha is over i become videha mukta this world is also not for gnanis see we use that word this prarabdha also in aparokshan bhuti shankaracharya says this prarabdha word is also used agnana jana bodhartham for the sake of ignorant people only gnani prarabdha he is exhausting she is exhausting the words are used agnana jana bodhartham prarabdham vakti vai shruti Shruti used the word prarabdha. Why Jnani is surviving in the body after knowledge also? He can leave the body once he gets mukti. Why he has to remain in that body? Na? For that Shruti says his prarabdha continuation going on. Even after you switch off the fan, it moves for some time. like that after getting gnanam also you switch off your ignorance you switch off your all sanchita agami karmas through knowledge but prarabdha continues just like fan moves after switching off like that uh, shruti tells for the sake of agnana jana bodha gnani prarabdha is there that's why he is remaining in the body until he exhausts his prarabdha completely he will he continues in that body later videha mukti kale prarabdha will go away all these words are very nice to listen in the initial stages but uh, once you get more clarity more clarity further and further i don't have prarabdha also because i the atma how can i have prarabdha prarabdha belongs to the subtle body not even gross body it belongs to subtle body subtle body is falsified therefore prarabdha is also falsified i am free from prarabdha also then what about videha mukti once prarabdha over for a gnani when he leaves the body what shastra use the word he becomes a videha mukta even this becoming videha mukta also agnana jana bodhartham becoming videha mukta is also not for gnani standpoint from gnani stand point we don't say agnana jana bodhartham eva prarabdham vakti vai shrutihi videha mukti api vakti shrutihi that is why janaka maharaja while he was alive itself 
he was jivan mukta also videha mukta also he knows that that's why he has got the name videha raja videha raja videha mukti is also from ajnana jana bodhartham videha mukti means what free from all the three bodies jnani knows i am free from three bodies while i am in the body jivan mukti kale eva jnani knows that i am videha mukta he need not wait up to death to fall of the physical body why that expression then for people's sake that is why pratyakshe bhavadhatini knowledge removes all these wrong notions atma gnanam bhavaga khatini bhavati pratyakshe therefore your expression of atma gnanam will not give any benefit tat atma gnanam upakaraya na iti that word what you say is not correct na nyayam bhati it doesn't appear proper ho oh, puro mimamsaka atma gnanam is anuvada vakyam maha vakyam sara only figurative they are not going to give any benefit it is not proper don't say like that tava vachaha nah nyayam na bhavati your vachanams are not seeming proper they are all improper words up to here we saw in the last class now we we'll go to the next 91st verse upodhatam anubandhoti therefore vidhi nishedha are only for ajnani say not for jnani vidhi means positively presented punyam nishedha means negatively presented that is paapam negative presentation and positive presentation punya paapa are not there pare gnani what time after getting gnanam even before getting gnanam also gnani knows na punyam na paapam that is a great obsession people have got that obsession because of deha abhimana deha abhimana you cannot see with your eyes it doesn't have a physical form in the thought form it appears ahankara roopena mamakara roopena raga roopena dvesha roopena all the vritti roopena it appears you only knows nobody knows outside therefore you only have to recognize that they are all mithya deha abhimana has to be you know reduced drastically drastically let us read the next portion yadapi jaiminiyam वचनम उद्घाटयसी तदपी तद्विवक्षा परिज्ञाना देव उद्भाव्यते किं कारणम् यतो न जैमिनि जैमिने अयम् अभिप्रायः आम्नायः सर्व एव 
यदि यदि अयमिप्राय अयमिप्राय अभविष्य अथा तो ब्रह्म जिज्ञास जन्मादिब्रह्मस्तुस्वूप्रह्मस्वूप वस्तु श्रीमचारीरक स्मॉल करेक्शन नॉट प्रिंटिंग इज नॉट क्लियर दट असूत्र अबो दट न्याय संदृद्धम दृ इट इज संदृद्धम Now Sri Shri Acharya continues further the negation of this Puro Mimamsaka. Yada pi jaminiyam. Now he is going to fifth, sixteenth verse. He has completed sixteenth verse of Puro Pakshi. Sixteenth verse of Puro Pakshi. In that seventh page, eighth page, there it comes. He has refuted in the ninetieth verse. Now he is taking the seventeenth verse of Puro Pakshi. There he used the word Amna Yasya Kriya Thatvad in that shloka. Page number eight, seventeenth verse. The Puro Pakshi was introduced. Puro Pakshi used the word. वचन उद्घाटय You introduced the sutra one to one. First chapter, second section, first sutra. That is one to one sutra. Vachanam udghata yasi. Tadapi that also. What is that we have to remember? Amna yasya kriyarthatvat anarthakyam atadarthana. What is that vachanam? That vachanam is amraya ha means veda ha. Kriyartha ha means meant for teaching only karma. Kriyartha ha means the veda is meant for only teaching that is karma. For karma teaching purpose only veda is. Our Veda has come. That is what his Veda ha amraya ha Veda ha kriyartha ha meant for teaching about karma. What about other mantras? Anything they are there? Atadar thana. Any statement which is not prescribing karma. Atadar thana. That is not there here. We have to see that second line. Amna yaha, that word only he used. Used that. Priyarthaha iti. Only the two words he used. 
you have to see that is 17th verse in the first line he gave that quotation amna yasya kriyarthadvad there he gave the full sutra is anarthakyam atadarthanam pancha brahma sutra class we have analyzed this those who have attended brahma sutra class they can recollect them. so atadarthana means any statement that which is not prescribing karma atadartha not prescribing karma or any commandment any non commandment any non commandment statement or you can say it is any factual statement other than commandment उपनिषदिक वेदिक स्टेटमेंट आर ऑफ टू टाइप सिद्धबोधक वाक्या अंड कार्यबोधक वाक्या सिद्धबोधक वाक्या मीन दो स्टेटमेंट विच आर् टाकिंग अबउट फैक्ट फैक्चुअल स्टेटमेंट आर् का सिद्धबोधक वाक्या दीज आर् आल वेरी टेक्निकल टर्म्स बट वेरी इंपारटेट टू अंडर्स्टा clearly siddha bodhaka vakyam means factual statement what do you mean by factual statement i will tell after introducing what is the second statement two types of statements veda vakya one is siddha bodhaka vakyam another is karya bodhaka vakyam karya bodhaka vakyam those uh, vakyam suchar prescribing karma karya bodhaka vakyani commandment bodhaka vakyani where there is a vidhi nishedha they are called karya bodhaka vakya idi pannu idi pandade na vidhi do this don't do this nishedha karyam karya akarya vishaye whatever statement comes they are called karya bodhaka vakya kartum akartu bodhaka vakya these are the two statements in veda now amnaya ha the veda is talking about karya bodhaka vakyam and siddha bodhaka vakyam siddha bodhaka vakyam is this saying i am thirsty it is a fact i am thirsty what this this statement says you know, i am a thirsty person now it is a fact statement factual statement to bring water it is a karya bodhaka vakya bring water karya go and bring water kriya is there i am thirsty is a factual statement there is no kriya that is called siddha bodhaka vakya example i am telling there later we have to go to dashtanta bring water is uh, karya bodhaka vakya once i am thirsty to quench my thirst i need water siddha bodhaka vakyam is aprayojana vakyam it is not giving any prayojana increasing more thirsty you know i am thirsty i am thirsty i am thirsty factual statement but it is not giving any prayojana aprayojaka vakyam what gives benefit for me bring water karya bodhaka vakyam if you bring water i drink so that i can quench my thirst saprayojaka vakyam so all your siddha bodhaka vakyam are like that only he says he is not giving that example just i am telling any example you can take siddha bodhaka vakyam won't give benefit aprayojaka vakyani karya bodhaka vakyam only once he brings water and karya bodhakam that is and i drink water i drank water ha no i am 
happy. Prayojanam is there. Saprayojana vakyam. So Karya Bodhaka Vakyani Sarvani Saprayojanam. There is a benefit. What is the use of your Siddha Bodhaka Vakyam? No use. Therefore, Amnayaha, Amnayasya, Vedasya, Kriyarthatvat, those statements are meant for commandment. In commandment, Karya Bodhaka Vakyam, they are Saprayojanam. Whereas in your Atadarthanam, where there is no Prayojanam at all, in your factual statement, Anarthakyam, they are all useless. Because there is no prayojanam. Anarthakya means nishprayojanam. All factual statements are nishprayojanam. That is the Puram Mimamsaka's intention. That is the meaning of Amra Yasya Kriyarthatvad Anarthakyam Atadarthanam. One Puram Mimamsa Sutra is telling you, all Puram Mimamsa is telling you. Okay? Mean Sutra. Okay. Now look into the words, Vachanam Udghata Yasi Tadapi Tad Vivaksha Aparigjnana Deva You have not understood that one to one sutra. Suryashrachana is used to Puromi Mamsaka. Puromi Mamsaka means the one who holds that Jaimini Siddhanta. You have not understood even Jaimini, Suryashrachana says. Puram Mimamsaka is making use of those Jaimini Sutras. That Sutra, one to one, a Puram Mimamsa Sutra. Acharya says, you have not Aparijnana Deva, you have not received total knowledge of that Puram Mimamsa Sutra. Aparijnana, you have only half knowledge. Half knowledge is always dangerous. Therefore, that vivaksha, what is meant by, what exactly Jaimini wants to say? Jaimini is the ardent disciple of Vyasacharya. He is having great respect for Vyasacharya. How can he go against to Vyasacharya? You have to understand the implied meaning of that sutra. There are always implied meanings which are not expressively mentioned. After the class when you go out, somebody asks you, where are you going? One student is sitting in the car and asking another student, where are you going? Which side you are going? What it means? You don't tell the address. Which side you are going? You understand first. She is interested in giving lift for you. Immediately you expect that. But she didn't say that I am going to give lift for you. I want to give lift for you. She didn't tell. But what she asked, which side you are going? Where are you going? She has asked. But what you your understanding? Your understanding is that you she wants to give lift to you. Is it mentioned? Not mentioned. Like that, like that, Jaimini Maharshi also, Amrayasya word is used in what sense you have not understood. Amnaya means you are taking the whole Veda. But Jaimini meant that Amnayaha means Veda Purva Bhaga. You are extending that Amnaya Veda to Jnanakanda also. But Jaimini is not uh, with that intention he didn't say that. That is what he is going to present in the whole paragraph. So Jaimini never say that. Whole Veda talking about karma only don't say that. That vivaksha, vivakshaya aparijnane, that vivaksha means what is it meant? Amnayasya kriyarthatvat means, amnayaha means what is you mean there? You don't have proper 
total understanding. Vivaksha means because of your non understanding, incomplete understanding of that's intention of Jaimini, of that sutra. This Jaimini's intention of that sutra you have not understood properly. Therefore, Udbhagyate, you are talking like this. It is raised by you because you have not understood. Kim Karanam, why I am telling this, you know, I will tell you the reason. You have not understood properly Jaimini's intention. Why I am telling that, you know, I will tell you reason. How do I know you have not understood properly? Na? Because of these reasons. I am bold enough to say you have not understood properly because of the following reasons. Kim Karanam, if you ask me why you are not accepting me, oh Sureshwara Acharya, if you ask Purapakshi, you ask me like that, I will tell you. Yataha, because na jaimini yehe ayam abhipraya ha. Jaimini's abhipraya, opinion is not this. His opinion about that one to one sutra, amnayaha sarvayeva kriyartham itin. That amnayaha word is used in his sutra as in the meaning of Veda. Amnayaha means Veda. Sarvayeva. He is not including the entire Veda. He is not including the Jnana Kanda. He is not including the Uttara Mimamsa. He is talking about only Pura Mimamsa. Sarva Eva Kriyarthaha Itina. The entire Veda talking about Kriya only, Karya Vakyani only. That is not the Jaimini's intention. Jaimini's intention is only for Uttar Puro Mimamsa only. Amnayaha means in whole Purva Mima, Purva Bhaga of Veda, all statements are Upasitavyaha. Aharahar Sandhya Upasita. All these are all Karma Kanda, Upasana Kanda, Amnayaha. He has taken the Puro Bhaga of Veda as Amnaya. But you, the Purapakshi, taking Amnayaha as Sarva Veda. But that is not the Jaimini's intention. Iti. That is why you are wrong, I am telling you, Sureshwara Acharya says. Because Sureshwara Acharya says, this, your opinion of Amnayaha is not the opinion of Jaimini. Sarva eva itin. Why? Yadi, if it is going to every vacuum of Veda, Amnayaha, the word used by Jaimini, if he is um, meant for a whole Veda, then what? Yadi, he, I am Abhiprayaha. Abhavishyat, suppose as you said, Suresh Rajan asking you for Vimamsaka, for a Pakshi. As you said, Amnayaha of Jaimini Vakyam is connected to entire Veda, suppose. It is uh, meaning in the meaning of entire Veda, only Kriya of Vakyams only, suppose you say that, then Adhato Brahma Jignasa Janmadhyasi Yadaha. Iti evam adi brahma vastu. Vyasacharya wrote Brahma Sutras. First Sutra means Adhato Brahma Jignasa. May you enquire into Brahman. First Sutra. What type of Brahman? Janmadhyasya yataha. From whom the entire universe has emerges out. 
These are the sutras. In the Brahma Sutra, Vyasacharya wrote, Yataha, from Brahman alone, the one one two, this is one one two. Athato Brahma Jignasa, Athato is not given here. Brahma Jignasa only given here. First Sutra, one one one, one one two, of Brahma Sutra. Don't ask me what is Brahma Sutra. Brahma Sutra is Nyaya Prasthana. Nyaya Prasthanam, there are three Prasthanams. Smriti Prasthanam, Bhagavad Gita. Shruti Prasthanam, Upanishads. Nyaya Prasthanam, Brahma Sutra. All these three we have to study. Every Vedantic student has to study all the three. If not three, at least two Prasthanams. If not to at least one prasthana, you will get moksha. But if you want to become a teacher, you want to get more clarity, more clarity, analysis about everything, you have to study Brahma Sutra. So that is what I am going to complete within two months in Kesari High School. I am taking from past eight years. Now I have reached fourth chapter, fourth pada, last pada, almost at the end. So those who want, they can listen CDs. I do not know. I cannot take in my lifetime second time. I do not know. Very difficult. So that is called Brahma Sutras written by Vyasa Acharya, Jaimini's Guru. These two sutras written in Brahma Sutra, what is the topic there? Iti evam adi, etc., etc. 555 sutras. Puro Mimamsa sutras written by Jaimini. 1200 sutras. More than 1000 sutras. Puro Bhaga of Veda analysis done by Jaimini Maharshi. Uttara Bhaga of Veda Upanishadic mantras analyzed by Vyasa Acharya. So, Guru Sishya have shared the whole entire Veda. Vyasacharya took Putra Bhaga, Jaimini took Puro Bhaga. If Jaimini meant that Amnayasya for the entire Veda, Vyasacharya would have not written Brahma Sutra. All Kriya Vakyams only. Why Vyasacharya has to write? Janma Adhyasiyataha. Athato, Brahma, Jignasa, he need not write. They all become redundant, meaningless. If Jaimini Sutra Amnayaha is meaning of the entire Veda, Vyasacharya would have not written Brahma Sutra beginning with these Sutras. He would have not written. He has written 555 Sutras to teach 555 sutras, 8 years, imagine how difficult. Hmm? How difficult you ask those students who are attending, how difficult they are. Hmm? When I started the classes, 70 students attended, first 70 students, 7-0. Afterwards, one one chapter I am going, sutra by sutra, sutra by sutra. Slowly, students' number is decreasing. They have understood what? They cannot understand Brahma Sutra. That they have understood. That much difficulty. But thank God, by Guru's grace, God's grace, still classes are going on. I was having a doubt whether can I continue Brahma Sutra fully or not in doubt. I was having. But uh, really, it's a Guru's grace, God's grace. Still going on. I have full hope I can complete that <laughs> text with some students. You require uh, intellectual, um, very, very uh, attentive intellect you require. And saturation, you know, full and full of Shastra, deep uh, study that is. Anyhow. That is what, what is the subject matter mentioned there, na? that is, iti evam adi brahma vastu swarupa matra yadhatnya prakashana param. 
such a big sentence. That Brahma Sutra, the subject matter is about Brahma Vastu. It is the subject matter. Brahman is the subject matter of Brahma Sutra. Brahma Sutra written by Brahman Chalakuda. Brahma Sutra written by Vasa Acharya about Brahman. That is Brahma Sutra, Brahma Vastu, Swarupa Matra, its nature. What is Brahman nature? Chagat Karanam Brahma, introduction. Second Sutra, Brahman is that Jagat Karanam, cause of this universe. That is the Swarupa Matra Yadhatmyam. The fact revelation, Yadhatmya means fact revealing statements. Brahman as an absolute reality. Swarupa means absolute reality. Swarupa matra yadhatmyam. Brahman is presented as the absolute reality in Brahma Sutra. Prakashana Param, that is the only aim of Vyasacharya Vyasa to talk about Brahman, the nature. Whoever knows that Brahman, he attains Brahman. Param, Gambhira Nyaya Sandrubdham, there is a lot of logic also involved. Gambhira means very deep logic is involved. Whether to come to next class or not, you will decide. Not this class, Brahma Sutra class. Like that, Gambhiram means very, very deep. Sandrubdham, Nyaya Sandrubdham. Sandrubdham means info, en, enforced. Enforced, reinforced. Or substantiated, corroborated. Sandrubdham, sun plus Dribhudhatu. Dribhu, one P, six P, ten U, in three conjugations it is there. Dribhu. Reinforced through logic. Nyaya Sandrabdham. Sarva Vedanta Artha Mimam Sanam. So Vedanta Artha. Veda Anta Bhaga means Uttara Mimamsa. Vedanta Artha means Uttara Mimamsa. Or Veda Anta Bhaga, Sarva Vedanta Uttara Mimamsanam Analysis. Shreema Shari Rakam. Shreema, Shri means auspicious. Very auspicious. Shari Rakam. Another name of Brahma Sutra is Shari Rakam Mimamsa. Why Shari Rakam Mimamsa? Brahman, another name is Shari Rakam. Sharire Bhavaha Shariraha Shariraham Vyasa Acharya would have not written if Jaimini mean that Amnaya has entire Veda Vyasa Acharya need not write Vyasa Acharya has written Brahma Sutras therefore you have to curtail the meaning of Amnaya to Uttara Bhava Bhaga of Veda very ingenious presentation. That's why we are genius. That's why we are ingenious. Okay. Prakasha Param Gambhiram Nyaya Sandrubdham Sarva Vedam Dartha Mimam Sanam Srimachari Rakam Na Asutra Ishyad He would have not written. Na Asutra Ishyad He would have not written. Such a Shari Raka Mimamsa about Brahman because Brahman residing in our heart. Shari Re Bhavaha Brahman. So Brahman is there in our heart. So that Brahman who is called Shari Raha. Regarding that Brahman is called Shari Raka Mimamsa. That Asutra Echa. So that is written by Vyasa Acharya. Otherwise, you would have not written, if Sishya has already written about whole Veda, Amnaya, 
Vyasacharya would have not touched Veda Anta Bhaga because my Sishya already has written. Therefore, why I have to write? He would have not. Na Asutra Ishyat. He has written means what? Artham Akko Jaimini told Vyasacharya. Hey Guru, I will take care of Pura Bhaga. You will take care of Uttara Bhaga. Actually, Rundu Bhaira may contract. Hmm. It is a joint venture. Mimamsa Sutrani and Brahma Sutrani. So, Prasthana Trayam Vedanta students need not study Puru Mimamsa. For study, teaching purpose, teacher has to study Puru Mimamsa. That is why teacher has to study Puru Mimamsa. Students need not study. Students Purinjale Puru. Okay. If they understand itself enough, Asutra Yenche, therefore what? Continuation. Tasma Jaimine Hem. Eva Ayam Abhipraya Hem. Yathaiva Vidhivakya Nam. Swartha Matre Pramanam Evam Evam Ekatmya Vakya Nam Evam Ekatma Vakya Nam We split here Pramanam Evam Pramanam Evam Aikatmya Vakya Nam Api Anadhigata Vastu Parichede Anadhigata Vastu Parichede Samyaditi Ataha Idam Abhidhiyate Tasmad Tasmat means Kasmat. Because of this reason, since Vyasacharya has written Brahma Sutras, because Jaimini has taken only Amnayaha, only for Uttara Mimamsa, Purva Mimamsa, Vyasacharya has taken Uttara Mimamsa, Veda into two divisions. Because Adhikari Veda, um, all those Anubandha Chatushtayam Veda is there. That we saw in one Prakrana Grantha also in previous classes I given. In the introduction to this also I given. We have forgotten also of course. That's it. Tasmat Jaimini He. Of that Jaimini Evam Abhiprayaha. This is the Abhipraya of Jaimini. What you thought is not the Abhipraya of Jaimini. I will tell you this is the Abhipraya. What is that? Yatha eva vidhivakyanam. Just as the vidhivakyas, prescriptions given in Veda Puro Bhada. Vidhivakyas, vidhi nishedha vakyas. Vakyanam. Swartha matra. In its own, swartha matra. In its own, pramanyam eva. Evam. Veda Pura Bhaga, all Vakyams have Pramanyam only in Veda Pura Bhaga. Vidhi Nishedha Vakyams of Veda have Pramanyam, Validity, Swartha Matre in its own field. Pura Bhaga of Veda, in its own field alone they have Validity. Jaimini Sutras, they are not interfering with Veda Antabhaga. Because Vidhi Vakyams are only Swartha Matram. Here Swartha means in its own field. Where Vidhi Nishedha can function, there only it is relevant. Pramanyam means valid. Evam, in this same way, in this manner, Aikatmya 
ஐக்கியவாக்கியான ஜீவாத்ம பரமாத்மா ஐக்கிய போதக வாக்கியான வேத அந்த உத்தரபாகம் வேத ஐகாத்மிய போதகம் ஐகாத்மிய வாக்கியான மகாவாக்கியானாம் இத்தர்த்தக ஐகாத்மிய வாக்கியம் இஸ் வா தட் வாக்கியம் விச் டாக்ஸ் அபவுட் ஜீவாத்ம பரமாத்ம ஐக்கியம் ஐகாத்மிய வாக்கியம் வாட் தே டாக் அபவுட் போத் ஆர் டாக்கிங் அபவுட் அனதிகத அனதிகத வஸ்து பரிச்சேத ரூப சாமியாதிதி திஸ் இஸ் விட் டெக்னிக்கல் ஐ வில் டெல் யூ பூர்வமீமாம்சக டாக்ஸ் அபவுட் ஸ்வர்க டி யூ நோ அபவுட் ஸ்வர்க யூ டு நாட் நோ ஹவு டு ரீச் ஸ்வர்க யூ டு நாட் நோ ஹவு டு ரீச் வேத ஹேஸ் டு சே அனதிகதா மீன்ஸ் அபூர்வ விஷயா நாட் நோன் அனதிகத மீன்ஸ் நாட் நோன் ப்ரீவியஸ்லி அன்னோன் விஷய ஒன் கேன் கோ டு ஸ்வர்க பை பெர்ஃபார்மிங் ஜோதிஷ்டோம யாக ஹவு டு யூ நோ தட் அனதிகத விஷயம் ஓன்லி த்ரூ வேத பூர்வ பாக கிளியர் அனதிகத தட் ஈஸ் அபவுட் பூர்வ பாக ஆஃப் வேத ஹூ ஆர் ஆல் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டட் இன் கோயிங் டு ஸ்வர்க மே யூ ஆல் பெர்ஃபார்ம் ஜோதிஷ்டோம யாக டுமார் ஆன் வேர்ட்ஸ் டுமார் ஆன் வேர்ட்ஸ் என்ன இப்போ ஆல்ரெடி டுவெல் இஸ் கோயிங் டு நவ் கேனாட் ஸ்டார்ட் மார்னிங் யூ ஹாவ் டு ஸ்டார்ட் ஸோ டுமார் ஆன் வேர்ட் யூ கேன் ஸ்டார்ட் திஸ் இஸ் அனதிகத விஷயம் சாஸ்திர ப்ரெசென்ட்ஸ் Similarly, in Veda Anta also, you are Brahman, to attain that Brahman, you have to get Mahavakya Gnanam. That is also Anadhikata Vishyam, Apoorva Vishyam. In Shatlingas, Apoorva is one of the Linga. That Apoorva Vishyam is a unique topic. Atma, how do you know Atma, where is it? Only through Shastra. without shastra you cannot know you cannot have any mahavakya without shastra shastra only giving mahavakya shastra only guiding how to know that brahman so both of them are here also jyotishtomayaga swarga is anadhigata vishayam brahman and tattvamasi mahavakya also anadhigata vishayam here you have to work for here also vedanta students have to work for samyat both are same same in their own field you are a subject matter also unique my subject matter is also unique you have to know only through veda you can know only through veda purva what brahman you can know only through veda purva about that swarga how to do jyotishtoma you can know only through veda antar veda purva veda purva you are brahman you are paramatma that you can know only through veda antar veda purva veda anta uttara mimamsa therefore daniki deeniki saripoyindi you are having your own field i am having my own field you don't enter into my field i don't enter into your field who says jaimini said <laughs> not sureshwara acharya jaimini said at that time vyasa acharya hey guru your field is different my field is different nama tani taniya vela pannalo yaar yaar ke enna venumo we can sell our products <laughs> what products and karma products this side gnanam product this side rendu bracket la rendu kayu vechinar guru sishyan rendu pera vena adhi madri that's why you don't have full knowledge about puro mimamsa hmm? so that uh, samyat iti both are equal what vedanta and veda purva both of them have their own field they have their unique topics and they have their unique pramanams that is veda pramana both are diagonally opposites both are both come under veda only but both are diagonally opposite ஓ பூரோபக்ஷி மே யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் அதா தேர் ஃபோர் இதம் அபிரீயதே நவ் த ஃபாலோயிங் ஸ்லோகாஸ் கண்டினியூவேஷன் அப் டு நைன்டி செவன் வி ஹவ் டு கோ நவ் வி ஆர் ஓன்லி என்டரிங் நைன்டி ஒன் 
up to 97 i am going to hit you na wali bala throw ball edo or ball hitting or hitting na now we read that shloka abhidhi ate means the following statements are going to be given by me here also correction is there in 91 one letter is there in between adhi chodanam ya is there you can remove that yakara it is extra letter it's not required and second line also printing is not uh, clear bruta ru u dirgham if you have to give like this bruta adhichodanam amnayah adhichodanam amnayah tasyai vasya kriyathata ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ಅಧಿಚೋದನ ಅಧಿ ಚೋದನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿಧಿ ಚೋದನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿಧಿ ಪ್ರಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಕಮ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಧಿ ಚೋದನ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕರ್ಮಕಾಂಡ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ಅಧಿ ಚೋದನ ಈಸ್ ಕೋಲ್ ಟು ಕರ್ಮಕಾಂಡ ಕುಚ್ ಈ ಕರ್ಮಕಾಂಡ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವಿಧಿ ನಿಷೇಧ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಧಿ ಚೋದನ ಆಮ್ನಾಯ ಆಮ್ನಾಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೇದ ಪೂರ್ವ ಭಾಗ ಜನರಲ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಮ್ನಾಯ ಈಸ್ ವೇದ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಕರ್ಟೈಲ್ಡ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಧಿ ನಿಷೇಧ ಕರ್ಮಕಾಂಡ ಉತ್ತರ ಪೂರ್ವ ಭಾಗ ಆಫ್ ವೇದ ಪೂರ್ವ ಭಾಗ ಆಫ್ ವೇದ ಆಮ್ನಾಯ ತಸ್ಯವ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಥತಾಸ್ಯಾದ್ ತಸ್ಯವ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಮ್ನಾಯ ವೇದ ಪೂರ್ವ ಕ್ರಿಯಾರ್ಥತಾ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಇನ್ ಜ್ಞಾನಕಾಂಡ ಕರ್ಮ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿತ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಟು ವೇದ ಪೂರ್ವ ಭಾಗ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಚುವಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ಮಕಾಂಡ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ ವೈದಿಕ ಕರ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ ಫಲಂ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕ್ರಿಯಾರ್ಥತಾ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಅರ್ಥತಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಸೊ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ವಾಕ್ಯ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಇನ್ ವೇದ ಪೂರ್ವ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ ಬಟ್ ತತ್ವಮಸ್ಯಾದಿ ವಾಕ್ಯ ವೆರಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಭಾಗ ಆಫ್ ವೇದ ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಕಿಮರ್ ಕಾರ್ಮ ಕರ್ಮಾರ್ಥತ ಕಥಂ ಭೂತ ಕಥಂ ಭೂತ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ಓ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ in with regard to tattvamasi tat that tvam you are tattvam asi guru said with regard to this tattvamasi what action you can recommend kriyarthata action purupakshi says soham saha aham it is a statement of fact that paramatma when guru says tatu tvam asi you are that brahman shishya should say what so ham that brahman i am aham brahma asmi ye pradhan chalana pura paksh says that so ham also that person should do japa so ham in the people one student very senior student swamini i have learned so ham what do you do i do japa every day the pura pakshi wants to convert to soham also into japa into dhyana soham 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 in tamil uh, after some time it will become soham 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 na enna hakara gakara same soham 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 already you are soham only adhi taniye ni dhyana panna venda me varungo and mari factual statements also pura pakshi want to convert into ಕಾರ್ಯಬೋಧಕ ವಾಕ್ಯ 
that is the Pura Pakshi's uh, intention. So, Suresh Vrajaya says, nothing doing. Doctor says, after testing everything, report comes. What report? You are okay, fine, you don't have any problem in the body. What you have to do? Report is a factual statement. What? You don't have sugar, you don't have blood pressure, you don't have any complaint, cholesterol, nothing is there. He has to go to medical shop, he has to buy medicines. The statement of fact that you are free from all diseases, it is statement of fact. Afterwards, that patient or patient and the person who is free from all disease is no more a patient. That person need not do anything, he can need not take any medicine. And on the report, I am free from all disease, I am free from all disease. over, that's all, job is over. Therefore, what? Poor Namada, poor Namidam, poor Nat, poor Namudet, Sade, poor Nasya, poor Namada, poor Nameva, Vasishate. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Hari hi Om Shri Guru Jona Maha Hari hi Om